Hello children, welcome to the class. Children, today we are going to learn the topics simple present tense and present continuous tense. Now what are tenses? So here we have three kinds of tenses, right? Present tense, past tense and future tense. And here verbs also we use in different forms. That is in the tenses. So verbs is used in present tense, verbs are also used in past tense and verbs are also used in future tense. So here verbs are used to denote different kinds of tenses. And tenses also it is used to describe the verb about an action when it happens. Okay. In the tenses the verbs describe when an action happens. Got it children? Next if action happens regularly. If action happens regularly or sometimes or never or often. Okay, if the action takes place regularly like a habit or often or if the action doesn't take place, so the verb we use will be in the simple present tense. What you children? For example, I always wash my hands before meals. I always wash my hands before meals. So here the verb wash is in simple present tense. So it is talking about the action which takes place regularly. Okay. Next, cows eat grass. Cows eat grass. So here the verb eat is in present tense and it is showing the action which always often which action takes place regularly. Okay. Next, we eat three meals a day. We eat three meals a day. So here in this example the verb eat is in simple present tense. What is children? Next, the simple present tense expresses general truth. Simple present tense, it expresses general truth. Means here, simple present tense is used for showing the action which is always truth. Okay, which action uh, that takes place like a habit. Okay, next, the earth goes round the sun. For example, the earth goes round the sun. So here the verb goes is in simple present tense and it talks about truth, general truth. That is, the earth always goes round the sun. That is truth. We all know that our earth always revolves or goes around the sun. Next, a river flows into a sea. A river flows into a sea. So this is also a common truth that everybody knows that river always flows into a the sea. Okay. Next, the sun sets in the west. The sun sets in the west. So here also the verb sets is in simple present tense. Simple present tense are used to express general truth and simple present tense. It uh, talks about the action which happens regularly or sometimes or it the action which takes place often. And the switch is next. We use simple present tense to tell about the things which been arranged for the future. We also use simple present tense to show that the things which have been arranged for the future time. For example, the train arrives at 5.30. The train arrives at 5.30. So here the verb arrives is in simple present tense and it is used for showing the future time. That train arrives at 5.30. Okay. Next, Jyoti joins the school tomorrow. Jyoti joins the school tomorrow. So here in this example, the word or the verb joins is in simple present tense. And it is arranged for the future time. It talks about or it denotes the future tense. Okay. Next, the new supermarket opens this Friday. The new supermarket opens this Friday. So here the verb opens is in simple present tense and we are talking about the future time that is Friday. Understood children? I hope you have understood the topic. Next we will move on to next session. Children, the simple present tense is used for telling a story in the present time. Usually simple present tense is used for describing a picture. Okay. See for example, Rohit knocks at the door. 
his mother opens it rohan walks in and he puts his bag on the table so here we use the present time when we are describing a picture okay when we are telling a story in the present time and the switch in next when we use the verb with the pronouns when we use the verbs with the pronouns he she it and the uh, singular nouns we put yes at the end of a verb so when we use the verb with he she it and the and with the singular nouns we put yes at the end of a verb in the simple present tense for example he hates milk so here the hate is a verb right and we are using with the pronoun he and we have used the letter yes okay so we use the verb with the pronoun he she it okay and we put yes at the end of a verb in the simple present tense in simple present tense we add yes to the verb we add yes to the verb and it is used with the pronoun like he she it and with the singular nouns and the switch in the next example mega sings well sing is a verb and we are using with singular noun so we have added yes to the verb mega sings well next example my knee hurts my knee hurts so here the verb hurts is in simple present tense and children here when we are describing a story so here you can see that the verb not open walks everything is in simple present tense and in simple present tense we add yes to the verb what is it next for some verbs we put es instead of yes for some verbs we put es we add es instead of yes for the third person singular when we are using with the third person singular so we add es to the verb that is for some verbs for few verbs we add es for example manoj watches television after dinner manoj watches television after dinner so here watch is a verb w a t c h watch is a verb so we have used es we have added es when we are referring to the third person singular next mohit goes to school by bus mohit goes to school by bus so here the verb goes is in simple present tense when we are using the third person singular so now i hope you have understood this topic next we will move on to next topic children we add i e s to form third person singular of verbs ends in y so when the verb is ending with y so when we want to convert it into the third person singular form we will remove the letter y and we will add ies in the simple present tense for example a newborn baby cries a lot a newborn baby cries a lot so here the verb cries it is denoting the third person singular form of verb okay the actual the main verb is cry cry right so here when we are converting the verb cry cry by cry into third person singular of verb then we are removing the letter y and we are adding ies what to children next alka tries hard to learn math alka tries hard to learn math now next is we do not drop y we do not drop y from the verb if there is a vowel before it we do not drop the y we do not drop the letter y if there is a vowel before it and we add just yes after the letter y what did you know first we learn that we will drop y when the verb is having the letter y at the end of the verb right and we will add ies and we are converting into third person singular form but here we are learning that we do not drop the letter y when it when it has a vowel before it 
okay and just we add yes to the verb okay for example ritu stays with her aunt on weekends ritu stays with her aunt at the or on weekend so here the verb is f t a y stay so when we are talking in the simple present tense and when we have a letter ending with y and having a vowel before the letter y we do not remove y instead of that we add only yes okay in the simple present tense next example a muslim prays five times a day a muslim prays five times a day so here also we have not removed the letter y and we just add a letter yes next a good student always obeys his teacher a good student always obeys his teacher so children i hope you have understood about the simple present tense next we will move on to present continuous tense children next present continuous tense what is present continuous tense so present continuous tense are used to talk about actions okay that are taking place continuously the action does not stop okay present continuous tense are used to talk about actions or things that are going on that are going on that never stops okay for example i am eating my lunch i am eating my lunch so here the action is going on right next mohan is reading a story book mohan is reading a story book so here the action is going on the action is continuously taking place it has not stopped and children in present continuous tense we will add ing form okay we add ing to the verb and next ing form of a verb is called present participle verb okay the ing form of verb is called present participle so we use present participle with am is and are so as we learned that we are in present continuous tense we will add ing form so this ing form of verb is called present participle and present participle are used with am is and are so for example i plus am plus play plus ing plus cricket so what happens i am playing cricket so here we have added ing to the verb in the present continuous tense i am playing cricket the action is going on okay next they plus r plus read plus ing so here the sentences they are reading so we have added ing to the verb read and it denotes that action is going on they are reading the action is going on presently okay children next present continuous tense also talks about the things that are planned for future present continuous tense are also talks about the things that are planned for future for example we are going to kanpur tomorrow i am going to visit the park tomorrow can the children you know? present continuous tense are also used to plan the actions which takes place in the future time children you know? i hope you have understood the topics simple present tense and present continuous tense in the next class i'll come up with new topic thank you children